Now I would like to turn it over to our very special guest, Senator Booker, who has come today to introduce our first witness, the mayor of the city of Newark, New Jersey, the Honorable Ross Baraka. Thank you, Senator Booker, for coming to our subcommittee hearing today. Sit up. You may now introduce the witness. <laughs> he, he's much shorter than I remember. <laughs> so uh, first and foremost, uh, I just want to thank the chairwoman for the invitation. And I want to thank uh, uh, the chairwoman and the ranking member for your extraordinary work in this area. You all have been the bipartisan Cagney and Lacey of, uh, and by the way, a lot of your young staffers are looking at me with a blank stare, like, who's Cagney <laughs> and Lacey? Um, but you two have really uh, brought together uh, a bi in a bipartisan way critically needed infrastructure and your leadership is extraordinary. And I see uh, 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 always to me Chairman Inhofe and just want to thank him for his friendship and partnership on many important things over the years. It's just good to see him here. This is a real pleasure for me. I I've been looking forward to this moment all week where I get a chance to introduce somebody I've known uh, for more than two decades now. Uh, Roz Baraka is a special kind of leader. He is an activist and artist. He is one of the more respected leaders in our country when it comes to local leadership. And for a guy that lives still in the central ward of the city of Newark, he is my mayor. Uh, and his leadership uh, has been uh, exemplary in a lot of areas that, that it really should be note, but of specific interest to this committee, uh, uh, the, the mayor has given a master's class and how to take on the crisis of lead in pipes. I mean, it is just extraordinarily how he is a standout. Uh, the head of the EPA uh, came to Newark uh, really in a, with a sense of awe about what the mayor uh, uh, completed under his leadership in partnership with others. And so, uh, as you're gonna hear in a lot of detail, uh, Newark's lead service line replacement program, one of the Newark's largest infrastructure projects to date, has successfully replaced over 23,000 lead service lines. The successful completion of this ambitious three-year project to replace thousands of lead service lines at no cost to residents is an example, not just a, a testimony really to the mayor's leadership, but it's an example of how local, state, and federal officials can come together, develop a comprehensive plan, and address a issue of serious environmental injustice and how they, through their work, have created a blueprint for communities working on similar infrastructure projects across the nation. With the past passage of our bipartisan infrastructure bill, more of these projects are going to be possible. And I believe uh, the wisdom uh, garnered uh, and demonstrated by Mayor Baraka is a great way for us to look to what the future could be. Uh, it's especially important, though, I want to call out the leadership of Essex County Executive uh, Joseph DiVincenzo. Uh, he's had a willingness to use the county's AAA bond rating to secure a $120 million bond that allowed the city to move extraordinarily quickly. Uh, during this time, a few years ago, uh, I was happy that my team was able to work with uh, a lot of the leadership of this committee and pass legislation that would allow states to access additional federal funds uh, so that more communities around the nation could upgrade their drinking water systems. I know that the city of Newark will be able to continue to lead the nation in modernizing their water infrastructure and with substantial and continued federal support like we're seeing. And the flexibility that you all wisely put into the bill uh, will really allow us to make sure the investments are made, that American jobs are created, and the infrastructure uh, is ultimately completed. We know that this is a national crisis that didn't come about last year or 10 years ago or 20 years ago. We have literally had millions of children being poisoned over decades in our country and have failed to step up to this national threat. As you indicated, Chairwoman, in your opening remarks, lead is a savage potential killer. It does permanent damage to kids' brains. And you and I, uh, Chair One, I'm sure, have had the experience of sitting with parents with their children's uh, um, uh, brains being addled by lead, knowing uh, that this severe violence has been done uh, to their children and uh, the urgencies that have been exposed as a result of our inaction. This is a great story for the Senate to act now. Uh, and uh, we now have one of the best of the best in America uh, for uh, talking about how we can do this. Because if there's anything that Ras Baraka has shown is that 
Time is of the essence. There is a fierce urgency of the now. Money has been allocated, but my biggest concern now is the estimates in cities across this country, some of them upwards of 10 plus years to get those lead service lines replaced. That is unacceptable. We've got to find a way to learn from what Newark, New Jersey has done and expedite this so that our children are free from this toxic poison. Again, a real cheer and gratitude for the leadership of this committee on both sides of the aisle and a lot of gratitude for you allowing me to come here and, and introduce someone who I know and love and really respect, Roz Baraka.